What is going on everybody? I know you guys have missed me and here I am. I'm going to make a nice video for all of you so you could understand the breakdown of some real estate deals. Now, I know that you hear all over the internet that people make deals and make millions of dollars in real estate and a bunch of scammers out there try to take your money to teach you something that doesn't really work. So I decided that I was gonna come out and I'm gonna show you guys how to work a deal in real estate that's actually not that hard to do, but people gotta understand how to do it. And I'm gonna give you all that information today for free. So I live in California. Houses are pretty expensive, but I wanted to come up with a number that's going to work in between California and the other states. The other states, like if you wanted a house, let's say in Cleveland, Ohio, you could find a house for $100,000, $200,000, multifamily homes and all of that. But because we are in California, the number is a little bit higher. So I picked a number that is kind of cool right in the middle. And I know you guys are gonna like it and enjoy this video. So watch this. And again, if you guys love it, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to show me love. Make sure to comment, share it to your friends because this is free information. And you know what? Everybody should hear about this and I'm gonna keep making videos just like this. So let's get on. All right, so there is a loan program called FHA 203K loan. What is that loan? It's a loan for people who wanna take a house and also live in it. It's not an investment property, but they allow you also to take a loan for the construction. So if you're gonna to have to do some remodels, you'll be able to take some money with that as well. Now, going down to the price of the house, Let's say we found a house that is half a million dollars. If you are a first time buyer, all you're gonna need is three and a half percent down. Three and a half percent down is gonna equal to seventeen and a half thousand dollars, which is not that much money. Now, if you're somebody that says, I don't have seventeen and a half thousand dollars, how much would you make working at McDonald's living at your parents' house? How much would you make working anywhere, just minimum wage? If you take that money and save it throughout the year, you got your seventeen and a half thousand dollars. Is that clear? All right, now, seller pays closing cost. When I find a deal and I'm ready to purchase, I look for a deal. And why is it a deal? Because it's a home that needs some renovations. In real estate, we look for a house usually that just looks old, but smells bad. So if it smells like cat piss, it smells like money. People come in, they're like, what is that smell? It stinks. Guess what? For me, it's money. All I have to do is change the carpets, change the pad underneath. It doesn't smell anymore. Throw some new paint and you got a house that is still looking old, but refreshed. Now, when I find a deal, I make the deal with the seller that they're going to pay the closing cost. Let's say at this moment, I need $100,000 to remodel the house. I can ask the bank for that money. And how do I do that? Come to the bank, take this type of loan and they will give it to you. What do I do with $100,000? I don't remodel the house. What I'll do is I'll build a guest house. Why would I do that? I either build a guest house or I turn my garage into something called an ADU. It's an additional dwelling unit. Now with an ADU, you could live in it with a garage that you could live in or a guest house that you could live in, what can you do now? You could rent your property. So take a look. I build a guest house for $100,000. I move in there and now I'm rent free. I only kind of did a little bit of touch ups, which is like carpet paint, whatever. Maybe change the handles on the kitchen doors. Rent out the main house. When you rent out a house and it's the main house, especially in California, you're probably going to rent it for the same price of the mortgage, possibly a little bit more. Let's say it's a little bit less and you're somebody who right now pays somewhere, let's say $2,000 in rent and you still had to put in another two, 300 bucks. You're still saving $1,700, but now you're not saving only $1,700. You're also making money. Now, let me show you what you do next. You keep the house for a minimum of two years. Why do we want to keep it for two years? There's something called called capital gains. As time goes by, house value usually goes up. Number two, we just build a guest house. The price goes up. 
Number three, we painted the house and did a little bit of modifications. The house went up in price. When it goes up in price, there is multiple things that you could do. But the reason I say that if you're not someone with a lot of money, you wanna sell the house, because after two years, if you're a single person, you're exempt from $250,000 on capital gains. If you are a married couple, you're exempt from half a million dollars in capital gains. So let's say we bought the house for half a million dollars and we put another $100,000 into the construction. That's $600,000. If you did what I just told you, that house in two years will go up at least, at least, at least, at least, at least 40% more because you have a guest house and you also build equity. Why? In two years, someone else was paying your mortgage. Where was that money going into? Your equity. And you saved for two years because you did not pay your rent. Now, sell your house. If you are married, you could take the half a million dollar profit into your pocket and roll it into another investment. Now, let me explain to you what you do now with the money. You take that money and you roll it in to another property. This next property now, you'll be able to actually live in it and not have to rent it out. But you're able to buy two properties because now you have enough money that you've made to put down payment on your property and to put down payment on an investment property. You see where it goes? The more you do, the more you will create. It's simple. And of course, one deal like this is not gonna turn you into a multimillionaire. But that's why you could do the same thing and learn more things simultaneously in parallel to what you're doing by learning from somebody like me. You don't wanna just wait two years to have a million dollars in hands or half a million dollar in hand. You wanna be able to utilize that time. That's why you're not gonna have any payments for rent. It's so you could utilize that money and actually make more money with it. So stay tuned because I'm gonna be able to teach you everything. Sign up to my mentorship program because you're gonna learn so much more. You don't wanna be sitting on your ass for two years waiting for the next deal. We wanna do a deal after deal after deal and you should be able to learn more trades, not only real estate. There's so much more for me to teach you. But if you did take your time and you did it steadily, where it's for sure, this is for sure, like let's say the price is crashed, you just don't sell your house, you wait. But the market is always like this, it goes up and then it crashes down and it'll go back up and crash down. When it goes up, the stupid people buy. When it goes down, the rich people annihilate the system. The second the prices are gonna go down, do you know how many properties I'm gonna buy? Like this, 20, 25 properties. Why? Because I'm waiting for the crash. Corona happened, boom, it went up. People were buying, 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 buying. What was it? It was a seller's market. It wasn't a buyer's market. But because the percentage was so low, for the interest. People were so stupid, they said, well, it's the same exact mortgage for a $1.5 million home than it was before for a million dollar home with higher interest. But now they owe another half a million dollar on top. They didn't understand that. But that's because people don't think as much as the number 1%. They think a lot less. So I'm telling you, don't be stupid. Listen to me, keep watching what I'm doing. I will give you all this free information. And on top of that, if you truly wanna learn everything from A to Z when it comes to business, to real estate, you must, must, must go into my courses. Send me a message, put in your email, put in your information, because I will teach you how to not make all these mistakes. Because these mistakes that you can make could literally annihilate you. It could take you out of the game completely. And not to forget that you lose a lot of time. So what I did as a young person, I went to somebody who's the best. I was like, you know what? Give me all your information. How much money would you want for it? I paid him a shit ton of money to get all this information that saved me all this time. And what happened? I retired at the age of 24. And the reason is, is because I thought, well, 
I could go and try to learn it on my own. Nobody truly wants to teach you, not for free. Let me go to the best guy that does real estate and I'm gonna learn from him. So I don't care if he teaches me everything in one day or in one minute, I'm paying for his experience. Yeah, I was willing to pay thousands of dollars. It doesn't matter. But when I paid, I paid attention. And when I paid attention, I succeeded. And when I succeeded, look at me now. I became the fucking king. So, love you guys. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll be here for more videos.